Understanding High-End Purchase, an easy guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common English phrase that you might hear in conversations about shopping or buying things. The phrase is high-end purchase. By the end of this video, you'll understand not just what it means, but also how to use it in your daily conversations. Let's dive in. First, let's break down the phrase into two parts, high-end and purchase. The term high-end is an adjective that describes something of very high quality and, usually, high price. It implies luxury and exclusivity. On the other hand, a purchase is a noun that simply means something that is bought. So, when combined, high-end purchase refers to buying something that is expensive and of superior quality. To better understand high-end purchase, let's look at some examples. 1. Electronics. Buying the latest, most advanced smartphone can be considered a high-end purchase. 2. Fashion. Purchasing a designer dress or a luxury watch is often seen as a high-end purchase. 3. Automobiles. Opting for a luxury brand car, like a Mercedes or a Tesla, is a classic example of a high-end purchase. These examples show that a high-end purchase is not just about spending more money, but it's about valuing quality, brand prestige, and often, a status symbol. Now, let's practice using the phrase in sentences. I am saving up for a high-end purchase, possibly a new laptop from a renowned brand. My friend rarely makes high-end purchases, but she decided to splurge on a designer handbag for her birthday. It's important to understand the cultural context of this phrase. In different cultures, what is considered a high-end purchase can vary greatly. Additionally, similar phrases like luxury buy, expensive investment, or premium acquisition can be used interchangeably with high-end purchase. I hope this video has helped you understand what high-end purchase means and how you can use it in your conversations. Remember, it's all about the context in which you use the phrase. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next English language learning video.